In the month of January, Niagara has won twice and lost three times, where the Mohawk Mountaineers have won twice and also lost three times, as we have begun here in the D-Bar. Some great defense so far by both sides, and that'll be a great swing from the Niagara Knights. Great serve there out of the Niagara, and Jacob Gasharowski tips it over for a Mohawk. Giving Niagara a chance and a great block, Gasharowski and Jashe Lawrence at the net. And the Niagara Knights keep rolling. He has uh, 16 service aces so far this season. That's just a nasty play there by Elijah Bujardini. Bujardini with a huge smack down there. Last year finished it fourth place in the OCAA as they had in Final Four appearance. A younger team this year as Niagara gets the point. A lot younger team this year and I think. Outside for the Mountaineers, Durak. Bouchard goes outside, Zakari, and that's blocked by Niagara. Big, especially when if you're Mohawk, you're playing a better team as far as record-wise goes, so yeah, momentum is very important in the sport. That was a serve by Ethan May. It's still up, it trickles over the net here. A clean hit there by the Niagara Knights is once again. Lawrence serves again. Back outside, no block to be seen really for Mohawk on that one. He's a guy who can swing in momentum. That's why he's been starting, so hopefully he can do it here with serving. Oh, no block, so a clean swing there for Takis. Wow. 11. Mohawk, who called the timeout, will try to get a point here, but it'll be a free ball for Niagara. It's an easy. That looked like a piece of cake on Niagara, and all of a sudden now it's 21-13. Outside, back to Jurak, and he gets blocked. Last time it was a triple block from Niagara, this time a solo. Out there to get the point from Mohawk. Lawrence, there, right again at the net. Gonna be tight here, Niagara will swing. Lawrence with a great dig. Jurak tight, tip. And we're gonna keep going with the rally here. And that's a Niagara point. What a great swing there. Very effective offensively. Ethan May, he's been great at the net for Mohawk. Let's see if his serving will pay off here. Durak got a good serve on him. Tipped, couple hands there. I don't know if there was two touches by Mohawk, but they're not gonna call it. Stays in the air here, pushed by Niagara. Rad's gonna go to Ethan May and he's blocked! That was a big time block there from two Niagara defenders. Niagara's starting to come back here. You definitely don't want to lose their wheels off the train, so to speak, for Mohawk. If you're head coach Brad McClure of Mohawk, you're hoping this timeout, Mohawk can come away with a point. And they, yes, they can. They keep it in the air. Not a point yet. But we're still going here. Niagara, Mohawk. Perron will serve now for Niagara. Jurak, Rad. Jurak gets it back. Still in the air. It's gonna be tight here at the net, and Rad shows his strength. Lawrence digs that one out. And Niagara ties it back up, 18-18. Nothing overall in this game. Rad outside Zakar, he's blocked, and now the Knights have a two-point advantage. How the really does fly by. Here we go, match point once again for the Niagara Knights. Outside here, it's just gonna be Rad by himself and that's the match. The Niagara Knights come into Hamilton, steal the third set, 25.